everyone is now waking up to the reality of Zionism now. Yeah. Right. Everyone's waking up to that. That's one huge blessing that's coming out of this. Totally. Right. That, that they, they've lost the PR war. They've lost it now. Uh, an Israeli think tank came out and admitted, they said that of all the protests going around the world, 95% are pro-Palestine. Wow. 95% are pro-Palestine, Insane. right? So they, they, they've, lost, they've lost that. You can see also with these UN votes, how you know, when they do so in the General Assembly, it's like 140 or 150 countries. It's, it's Israel and US on the other side and a few other countries. E- even a lot of like little vassal states of the US, like uh, Britain and the EU, they're abstaining. Wow. <laughs> they're, even, they're, they're losing that, right? So, so that, that's coming to the fore. But something even greater than that's happening. And I, and I, I think, I think you've, you've talked to some of your guests about this, which is that people are, not only, people are not only waking up to the reality of Israel, but they're also waking up to the reality of Palestinians. Hmm. And they're saying, what is it that keeps these people going? SubhanAllah. Right? Like they've gone through so much. They've, you know, there's people, they've lost everything. They've lost their homes. They've lost their families. They have nothing. But they're smiling and they're saying, Alhamdulillah, wa shukrulillah. Right? They're, they're, <laughs> how is that possible? They, they, they don't get so So what is that now doing? So now they think, okay, well, they're Muslims. Okay. So, and then they're going and they're, they're, they're trying to read a, a translation of the Quran. They're trying to uh, put the pieces together. And it's ha- it's happening. Like I think I think it was just uh, my friend Hazem. He's my co-author from uh, Depression Anxiety. Like he he sent he sent me a video of um, a lady from America, not, not a Muslim, right? Blonde, mm. blue hair, blue hair lady, not, not a Muslim. And she's reading she's reading a a translation of the Quran, right? I'm assuming it's a pretty decent one <laughs> based mm-hmm. on our previous conversation, right? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll assume it's okay. What? Um, but she she put a little video out saying. The Quran is helping me with my anxiety. She actually so, says, wow. I have, I, I have, I have anxious, I have anxiety problems. And, and she read, uh, I think she's reading, a, is it Surat Al-Talaq? Mm. Um, yeah, Tassab, right? Like, whoever fears Allah, log him a way out. Mm. So, in this end. so she's quoting this so, ayah, that she quotes from ayat in Surat Al-Rahman. And she's almost tearing up. Like, she's not even a Muslim. She's, she's almost tearing up. And, and she's saying, you know, with, with anxiety, she's saying with anxiety, you know, people always tell you, people always tell you, okay, that you, 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 you have, you have to learn to let go. You have to learn to let go and don't, mm-hmm. and don't fret over that thing. And then she said, but I'm reading these, I'm reading these verses and I'm realizing how can I let go of something that I never really had in the first place? SubhanAllah. How can I let go when Allah has been holding it all along? Mm. <laughs> right. How do, how, how do, how do I do that? How do I? Let go, and she said. So, so then I realized. Then I realized. Wait a second. I'm I'm actually part of a larger system. I'm actually part of a larger. It's like, it's like a larger, you know, apparatus or framework. And all I can really do is act. That's all I can do. Because it, it, Allah's in control. And she says, this is this isn't what I was taught. I I always taught that it's down to you. It's always down to you, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're successful, it's because it's because of you and your hard work. If you're not successful, it's because you're lazy and you're stupid and you're this and that. And it's like, no. No, it's all in Allah's hands. So she said, she said that that just, that just gave me so much just relief. Yeah. Uh, just, 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 just to see that. So I, I think, I think to put all of that together, I, I think, I think for Muslims who are getting really, really uh, anxious and, and depressed about the situation of us, look at the bigger picture, look at the bigger picture, see what's really happening. And then look at these people who aren't even Muslim who are now mm-hmm. coming back, to, are now coming to Allah and, and now yeah. reading your book um and 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 just seeing i mean <laughs> they're, they're seeing things that a lot of muslims just haven't seen mm-hmm. right um so it's something we all see is bad in our world but allah has has a hidden blessing in that and one of them you mentioned is people americans waking up to the quran so waking up to islam like asking how do these palestinians keep going i'm looking here at a guardian article Young Americans are picking up the Quran to understand the resilience of Muslim Palestinians. Yeah, and it has here a woman who, who started an, uh, an, uh, a book club on Discord. And she posts the reviews on TikTok, right? And she chit-chats about a book on TikTok. That's it. And um, she's out of Chicago. She's 34 years old. Then when this crisis happened and she has a big platform on TikTok started talking about Palestine. And then she started noticing that picture, uh, that video of the brother whose daughter died. Mm. This is a, he was, you know, a Palestinian man, religious man. I think it's from the Tablighi Jama'a of Palestine. Mm. And his daughter was brought to me. You know, she has the two poofs like this. 
was mm. brought to him and he was like just kissing her face. She yeah, yeah. passed away. He's about Ruh. to bury her. She's yeah, Ruh, just, Ruh, he said. Yeah. That yeah. video went got so many people wondering, how is he doing this? How is he not like yelling, screaming, and going crazy? Right? So mm. they started to pick up the Quran. Here one lady says, I wanted to talk about the faith of Palestinian people, how it's so strong. They still find room to make it a priority to thank God, even when they have everything taken away from them. She said in an interview, this lady, her name is Megan B. Rice. Okay. Mm. Mm. She keeps posting these videos. One thing leads to the next. Eventually, she ends up a Muslim, and she posts it. Mm. Somebody, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took someone that you, the last person that you would ever even think of, and this person has been a means of hundreds upon thousands, if not millions, to discover the Quran, right? And really view the Quran in a positive light, okay? Because we have enough of bad press, but she has amazing, you know, good press. 